Hey everybody, the Bang is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon S or Bisojo Senshi Sailor Moon S for the Sega Game Gear. And I'm turning it up because it's a little low. So this was a game that was only released in Japan, but it does have an English patch if you ever want to try it out yourself. It's a pretty interesting uh, 2D platformer. So uh, let's get going. There's two different modes, but it's the same game. It's just a different character. So, doesn't really matter to me, we'll play as Usagi. This has pretty good quality for a Game Gear game, all things considered. Alright, stage 1-1. One, one. Alright, so you jump with one button and you attack with the other. Also, if you hold your attack, you get to throw your tiara. Which could come in handy. And the knockback on this is pretty nuts. Oh, that was gonna get hit there. So there's like maybe five worlds. Well, really five stages, but like different zones for each one. Okay, you cannot attack while you're grabbing onto something. Also, watch out for falling debris, because that can be an issue. But at least there are sound cues to let you know they're coming. Most of the time. Really, the worst enemy to deal with is, like, the, uh, the tires. Oh, get that dagger. That's part of the makeup set. Stage 1-2. Oh yeah, you don't get your health back when you finish a level, either. So, <laughs> good luck to you then. Might as well grab the uh, Tuxedo Mask Rose, because it makes you invincible for a few seconds. Oh, close one. Hearts? Yes. The jumping feels a little floaty, but it's nothing you can't handle. The only thing bad about this is you cannot look down. To see if you got a blind jump your way or not. But, it is what it is. Ooh, a big heart. That actually increases your max health. Alright, stage 1-3. There's usually a boss at the, uh, at like the third level of a stage. Oh wow, I didn't know you could throw. That there, I think that just gives you access to a bonus stage when you beat the boss. It gives you a chance for power-ups. Oh no, that's actually part of the makeup set. Alright, so you just gotta deal with a bunch of minions before you face the boss. Okay, they kind of look more like humans. So, they don't really look like monsters. I find it's best to just duck and punch them right in the kneecaps. And that deals with them every time. There's your password, 3633. You don't have to worry about that because you do have continues in this. Here's the bonus game. You'll receive rods for your successes. How many Sailor Senshi can you match by stopping the roulette wheel? Make a match and another Sailor Senshi will be displayed.
Okay, so it's best to stop it exactly the moment when it lines up. And you'll get a lot of them pretty easily. Just know which one it's after, or which one's before it, and then, then you get ready to press start, or press the button. Oh, too early. There we go. Or Venus this time. That's one of the uh, newer Sailor Scouts. Oh, time's up. I didn't even know there was a time limit. Well, I got five of them. Stage 2 1. So I think the uh, rods are just like a, a special attack. So you have to charge it for longer. Oh my god. See what I mean? I hate these wheels so much. Because they're so fast coming in. And they can avoid some of your attacks easily. I feel like the debris attacks are not Let's Player friendly, because most of the time... When you're talking, it drowns out the, uh, possibility you're gonna hear the bubbles falling. Like that? <laughs> oh, there we go. Maybe I should turn it up a bit more. Still sounds a bit low. Two, two. And it's still not even going to overpower me, either. Nice. Get that kick from above. Yeah, now it sounds a little bit better for hearing. We. an alright game for what it is. So bad we never got it in North America. That you had to rely on other people to translate this into English so that, like, non-Japanese uh, fluent people can play it. But honestly, you don't really need an English patch to play this. Because there's not a lot of story to it. The text is just, what, the bonus games, and that's it. Whoop. Don't even think about it. Just slap him in the chest. Just like the wrestlers do. Bring on the next wave. Just stand still and let them spawn and then move. And then hit them. Oh god. Try a J-pop star. Can't have any of this. I drop kick you because your music sucks! I only listen to new metal. <laughs> 41 41. Honestly, Serena would probably think that new metal is spelled N E W. Here's the bonus game. Your life will be restored if you win. Please try to find me. You can open doors by pressing the button while in front of them. Inner Sailor says she should give you a hint. You have four chances. Okay. Try this one. He's on this floor. Okay. He's on this floor. Okay, yeah, I know. Oh my god, it's the last one. Let us meet again. Farewell. 
And you only get 800 points for that. Alright, stage 3 1. Out on the street! Not using sidewalks, cause I'm a maniac! Why would you be standing this, like, right on that side of the road? What if there's a car there? That creature is, like, a part of a car. And who's dropping boxes, anyway? That's dangerous. Alright, don't fall down the manhole, you're not a ninja turtle. How many people w really wanted to cross over between Sailor Moon and the Ninja Turtles? I think that would have been pretty cool. <laughs> Stage 3 2. Honestly, I don't have a reason to use my rods, so that's why I have so many stockpiled. But I think you'll lose them all if you die. Okay, fine, leave me then. Don't even think about it. Oh. Oh, okay, I thought I was gonna be... be messing that up. That's a m massive amount of road damage. Maybe they should fix that. But what do I know? I'm just a teenage girl. Think they listen to me? Hell no. That's why all those manholes are still uncovered. They don't care about safety here. Stage 3-3. Three, three. asking for a lawsuit at this point. They don't even have any railings for these floating platforms either. There's no empathy in this city hall. <laughs> so I gotta clear out the streets myself. Come at me. The bosses do get progressively trickier to fight. Like that one, for instance. Like, what do you do there? Just gotta hope you time your kick perfectly. That one is using the ducking strat, that's mine. Our password is 5151. This is the bonus game. You will receive rods for your successes. A five question quiz follows. Okay. Oh, I'm probably not gonna do well on this one. What shape are Sailor Jupiter's earrings? Not moons. What is Naru's last name? Not Ishikawa. What racing game did Minako lose in a match to Haruka in? Not Daytona 2000. The planet for the sun is Sailor's... It's Jupiter. I ain't she used his father. There you go. I got two. Look, I'm not as a Sailor Moon nerd, okay? I only watch, like, the uh, dub. Also, I'm about to die. Hearts. Give me them. Oh, thanks. This level is a little of the more annoying ones, because you constantly have to climb up. You can start going right, then you go up, then you go left, then you go up, then you go right, then you go up. Like, it's different! Feel a little tedious real fast. 
Especially when you think you reached the top and you have not. I keep thinking that's gonna fall on me, but instead it's going to area right there. Oh, thought there was something on that corner, but no. Oh, by the way, this is the second last world in the game. Like I said, there's only five worlds. So it's a really short game, but it's a good one. I played this before. Oh, that's perfect. Taking that one out without it getting a chance to hit me, that's even perfecter. I know that's not a word. Who's gonna judge? The dictionary! Dictionary is not watching this. If it was, though, that would be pretty cool. Although it's probably gonna get mad at some of my vernacular. Alright, on to the next level. Stage 4-2. that you tend to fall off an edge pretty easily if you're like right at the very end of it. So you're kind of having to jump earlier than you normally do on other platformers. So keep that in mind. So you don't fall. That ah, falls right off. What an idiot. Oh. That wasn't the same one, was it? I guess it only respawns if you don't actively kill it. Okay, well, how far is it gonna go? Okay, I timed it perfectly. Hello. Goodbye. Whoop. No! Oh, okay. I actually made it on the other one. But now I gotta redo that jump. That's annoying. Set me back several seconds. There we go. Got it this time. And it looks like there's more above me. Oh no, there isn't. Those girders gave me a false sense of security. Or insecurity. Stage 4-3. Why do these look like, uh, chocolate bar pieces? Good thing they're not. <laughs> Serena would have stuffed her face. Oh, you can only carry nine rods at a time. I haven't even used a single one the entire game. You don't even need them. Maybe I'll try one out against this boss. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, damn it. She's invincible when you when you drop in those rubies. Assuming those are rubies. Got her.
Password, 6060. Well, here's the bonus game. Your life will be restored if you win. Guide Luna P-Ball to the goal without colliding with Luna or Artemis. Move right with button 2 and left with button 1. Okay. I remember trying this game before and I can never win it because there's this big slope midway through and I end up hitting Artemis every time because of it. It's right here. Oh, I got it! It's still only midway through the stage though. I don't know why they're flashing like that. I don't know if it's just a graphical glitch or what. I did it! That's the first time I've ever been able to win that! Stage 5-1. So we're in the sewer, or it could be a lab. Could be a lab within a sewer. Oof. That was gonna fall. Because, uh... Serena cannot swim. do it. Won't let ya. Oh! Debris behind the foreground. That's kind of rude. It's like, what if we use an obstacle that they can barely see? Alright, this music's actually pretty good. Like, you know, use the basic sound font that the Game Gear is known for. But it's done well. Stage 5-2. Alright, this is the penultimate level of the entire game. Also, I just got a pop-up in the corner of my screen. And it's taken up a good chunk of it. Thankfully, the game window is not in the way. Or it's not in the way of the game window. Like, I have you in silent mode to not give me alerts. Why would you give me an alert when in silent mode? The point of it is to be silent. Stupid antivirus. What is, what is even in these, uh... Jars, anyway. It's definitely not Kool-Aid. Could you imagine if they were just <laughs> brewing, like, counterfeit Kool-Aid in this lab? It's like, no, you don't have to pay a sugar tax. 5-3, last level of the game. Oh, this looks pretty dangerous. Nope! Oh no, I have to get up there. I know that was part of the makeup set too, so you have to do it. Got it. But I'm at like two hearts now. Oh, you don't get any hearts throughout the level! Damn! Alright, this is the last gauntlet we gotta do. And then we get to the end. Two of them at once. This could be a problem. Kneecap punches is the way to go. There's another boss coming up. Hey, 
like, what if I just teleport right on top of you? And that's it! You gotta do the whole level again! It's kind of rough, isn't it? And then all your rods are gone! And plus you're back to the default three hearts, too. look like a main villain in the Sailor Moon series. And there you go. Here's your password, 8888. Hee hee hee! Wonderful. Whether I obtain it or not, I'll make it mine for sure. <laughs> How can you if you don't obtain it? That doesn't even make sense. Hey, I got a big stick! I'm gonna whack you with it! And that's the ending! Just right, like there! Right there, that's it. Now, I know if you play Chibiusa, you get a different ending, but supposedly that the uh, Sailor Moon ending is the true one. But anyway, it, if you play as Chibiusa, it's the exact same game, just a different ending. That's all it is. So there you go. This is a pretty short title, all things considered, but you can get a lot of fun out of it for a simple platformer. I guess one little critique is that you don't get to play as any of the other uh, Sailor Scouts. But for, for what it is, it's done well. So anyway, if, if you're a big Sailor Moon fan, give this game a try. You don't even need the English patch. You can pre pretty much sort out the bonus stages on your own easily. So in any case, this is the Bong of signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching everybody, and I shall see you next time.